Right about now, the funk soul brother. Check it out now, the funk soul brother. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Check it out now, the funk soul brother. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Check it out now, the funk soul brother. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Right about now. One heck of a large present. <laughs> Dig in. I don't believe it, the little pig. Good morning. I'd like to talk to you for a few minutes about the box. Actually, about both these boxers. Mm. I'll take them both. Thank you very much. I really wasn't interested in this. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> yeah. Let's set the scene. In about a week, I'm going to be 71. So I popped down to a big ass department store to buy some party supplies, you know, balloons and shit. And as I'm checking out, these four cunts bar in guns and knives. They demanded we hand over our money and our chocolate cake. Now, you know how much I love my fucking chocolate cake. I just wouldn't stand for this. And it over. Oh. Well, um, stop that idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh, bother. A dead end. Fantastic. Oh, ha. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Never up with Michael Rosen, bitches. Why wasn't there four of you? <laughs> Ow! That hurt! I didn't hurt you! Hmm. Hello! I'm Aiken. <laughs> need help killing that spy! We need a shotgun! For when you get along, you need to pass a gun to test us and it's gone. Fuck. Right. Who is your boss? Oh, you've died. A piece of paper. What is it? Well, guess I know where to look later at London Airport. Stop right there. No guns on the plane, but I'm trying to kill a spy. Sorry. Uh, carry on. Remind me that this is a black gray plane, please. Yes. Caught any black people out! What the heck did you just love to say about me, you little wanker? Your lord! Later that day. Ah, 
France. Ooh, it smells like this. Anyway. This may be harder than I thought. <laughs> well, that's quite odd. Convenient. <laughs> Here goes. Hello. Who the hell are you? <coughs> what was that for? <coughs> Now, you know, not to fight with Michael Rosen. Now, any last words? Help! What? Help! 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 Good Lord, I knew I could smell something horrible. Well, if it's a bite you want, it's a bite you're gonna get. Oh, please. <laughs> Just give up without number you <laughs> It was then I noticed my chocolate cow. What is all of this? It's a magic show. Anyway, Mick, pick a card. It's a picture of a duck. What am I supposed to do with this? Ah! Right, stop that stupid quacking. If you don't stop it, I'm gonna. Look, right, that's it. <laughs> The older frozen is a huge problem, and I need some help, please. No, I'm serious. Really? Seriously, serious. serious. Okay. Oh, no. There we go. Now you don't have anything to worry about. I don't believe it. I really don't. Did you just get rid of everything? Yes. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's Michael's birthday today. Now, first day had a problem. He wants to write a story. I thought I'd go for it. So I'm sitting there with my computer and I'm thinking of this story I saw at school about Michael Rosen. If I may, I see Stepping out of my hot pink limousine I'm turning heads and I'm stopping traffic When I pose they scream and when I joke they laugh I've got a pair of eyes that they're getting lost in I'm hypnotized by the way I'm walking I've got them dazzled like a stage magician When I point they look and when I talk they listen Um, that may be wrong, Mr. Rosen That was terrible Hello! Welcome home, Mr. Rosen. 
How did the audition go? Did you practice more in the first quarter of the song? Um... No. Excuse me, I need a moment. Hmm. You got me. Oh no. Not one of those. Not another one of those little poos. Surely not. <laughs> hey, Michael, I've got something rather nice. And no, not by me. It's from that bloke over there. Okay, I said okay. Yeah, okay. Michael's book of bad boobers. It's bedtime. Now, I had a problem with bedtime. I couldn't hear. So when my mum said, Mike nigger, it's time for bed, all I could hear was, Michael, it's time. And I go, what are you talking about? You're standing there, you're me for stupid. Now go to bed. And I think I could now get thrown out of the windy hill. <laughs> In the morning, I get up. And I go downstairs, and I'm having my breakfast. And mum is busy over there, and she's busy, busy over there. And then she says, oh, Michael, don't forget your watch. She hands me my watch, and I'm busy having my breakfast. She's, she's busy, busy over there. there, she's busy over there. And then she says, oh, Michael, I know. The chocolate cake's gone. Go upstairs to the bathroom and wash your dirty, sticky face. You prick. I can't stand looking at you another minute. So it's upstairs, into the bathroom, shut the door, and you're yeah. It was time to muck about. Plug in. Ow! Taps on. A little brush in the water. Into a special jar of shaving soap. Now, I loved this shaving soap. If you held it up to the light, it was all twinkly. And if you smelt it, it was all slimy. And then if you prodded it, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was all squidgy, yeah. <laughs> hey! I'm drilling for all your edges. Hey. You can't see the hole from the outside. Maybe I could bury something in there. What could I bury in there? I know. The top of the toothpaste. Good, Good thinking. thinking. Smooth it over. That's amazing. That's like buried treasure. Maybe pirates would come looking for it and sing their pirate song. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Yo ho ho and a bottle of... And I hear my mum from downstairs going, Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. It's mum. Oh no! Mum! That's enough. That was awful. Well, don't expect us to buy you presents like that again. Sass. Okay, we got the next. What are you doing? <laughs> Poetry lets you play with penis. Can I go out and do some shopping? The cupboards are empty. Could be trouble. Well, you're not exactly rich, but okay. <laughs> Could you get me a cornetto? I love the feel of my tongue. Yeah, yeah. Shut your electronic pie hole. Oh. I'll get the ice cream. Oh. Of course. Ha! <laughs>
forgot it. It's my birthday. Hey! Ah! Uh, sorry. What do you want? What it usually happens on the 7th of May? Hey? Yeah? Look, he says dead quietly. Why are you narrating yourself? Just listen, will you? I can't... Okay. Anyway, I didn't get you a present this year. Cause... Nobody forgets my birthday. A little bit itch. Oh, what's this here? Can I have a new fridge? <laughs> yes! Good morning, everyone. Good morning, bright sunny day. Good morning. Moving on. Today it's gonna be the best day on the face of the planet. Snatch. And off I go to work. What's in it? Riddle diddle. It's one of those new fangled videotape things. Thanks a lot, Mr. Postman. You stupid, stupid bastard. Let's have a little look. Slash. So now I know what I must do. I've got to go back in time and stop those stupid birthday collapse from happening in the first place. <laughs> Enough. Rush, rush upstairs into my room. Fiddle, riddle, diddle, diddle, fiddle, riddle, diddle, diddle, and I get that time machine to work. Fiddle, riddle, diddle, diddle, fiddle, riddle, diddle, diddle, and I fiddle, fiddle, diddle. And that's the way it goes down. Got it. To change his treat, I had to reach out. Ah! And so Michael Rosen rolled and Michael Rosen ran right into the past. <laughs> right, according to my calculations, I only have to 9.30 to complete my mission in the past. I'd better get a preposterous present straight away. <laughs> ah, time to get rid of this thing. Sweet. It doesn't hurt. Ow! Hello! I'll have one of those things that can destroy a building, please. Bombs? Yes. Hey, wanna buy some water? No, I don't. What are you doing? How about learning to do the duck walk? What? No! Owner, you want it? Ha! I suppose that'll work. Thanks, Shram and Shettle. Lums, lums, lums. Yeah. Right, so now to use this thing to ensure that something changes. <laughs> hmm. What a fucking knob hound. That Pedski birthday card must be around here somewhere. Hmm, this has got to be the place. Lovely stuff. <laughs> yeah.
And everything's lovely once again. Once again. Ruddy old. Am I in the morph or something? Blimey. I'll make sure he doesn't get away. What the fish? Really good. What the sloss is going on? That's not a question I'll be answering. Silence! Release an older rose in his money. Help me, help me, someone. Okay. Announcing the Michael Rosen 142nd birthday collab. Oh no, this is horrible! What are you doing to him? Birthday collab. What happened just now? This is my chance. I have to rescue my future self, sis. I'm going to use this conveniently placed bag. Hmm, I'll have this as well. What is going on? Just get in the bag. Um, are you me from the past or something? Yeah, pretty much. I came here by mistake trying to go back to the present but instead ended up here somehow. And it doesn't look like my attempt at trying to stop the birthday collapse went very well. Now that I think about it, are you saying you were the one who did? Hey! Quick! Get the gun! Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile. Lunchtime. Time for lunch, munch, lunch. Time for a munch, crunch, crunch. L, 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 L. Munch, lunch, crunch. We made it. What's that? That's crunch, got to be two, crunch. five, six, pi over Lord's creation. Experiment 203. Munch, He's munch. probably what caused the ruckus before. That's munch, absolutely munch, horrible. Crunch. Let's get crunchy, out of here! Crunchy, 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 crunchy. Wait here for a moment. Right, let's go back in time again. What? Just watch this. Well, here we are again. It's always such a pleasure. Remember when I made you go back in time to correct my mistake? What? Why me? Do it yourself. Lol, no. Ha! <laughs> Balam, bam, boola, balam, da, diddy, boom. Oh. Ah. Do I never learn? Nothing new here. Same old bed. Same old kitchen. I wonder if that old guy did anything in the past. <gasps> Dumb Brian Rosen, 75th birthday call announcement. Brian, 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 I'm free from this crap. No more stupid sus joke. Yes!
Yeah, yeah. Come on. Already. The key stuck. What are you talking about? I can't unlock the door. Let me have a look at it. It's no good. <laughs> no, it doesn't work. See? No, no. I told you it's no good. Yeah. I know. Sorry, Mick. I'm an ambitious Rosen, and you're just small time. Ah. I've got to get out of the van. I have an idea. Hang on to your seats and listen right here. I'm getting arrested. Get out of the van. Yes. What's that? It's a fucking bomb. I know a place at the edge of the red light district where we can lay low, but I'm lazy, so you better try brother. <coughs> Whoosh! Hi everybody, I'm Michael Rosen. As you know, I was born on the 7th of May and that's today and that's the day people may. All those slimy little oohs on YouTube. But, and this is a 71 year old, but I don't care anymore. So now I'm going to be reading quietly. Ah! Party time. I can't get a moment's peace around here. Who is it? Hello! Sorry, uh, who are you? I'm Brian Rosen, your real brother. Stand by! Michael's cold chutney, warm stinks, and hot mouth when you're eating dead ice cream. A sad thing happened this week. It was a shop downstairs. When everyone was out, I went up to it. So it goes like this. Clear the flap from 
from under your bed. Clear the bed from under your slum. Oh, the shop downstairs. Right, quick, wash the face. And then, off to the shop downstairs. Right, chocolate, 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 chocolate. Oh, Mr. Shop Downstairs. I know, it's time to muck about. <laughs> no one would know anything about it. Ow! That hurt! I didn't hurt you! Chocolate, 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 chocolate,
A spoon light. Yahoo! Hey! Bam! Yeah! Hooray! I got through. I love trains. Press the stop button. Good thinking. There is the theory of the Mobius. A twist in the fabric of space where time becomes a loop. Oh, the shop downstairs. A sad <laughs> Right, as you know, today is my birthday and I'm hoping for something rather nice. And by that, I mean I want a Nintendo Switch, but, and this is a big but, um, I had hoped that it wouldn't be necessary for me to go outside my house and buy one myself. Duck. All this way for nothing. Actually, um, there may still be another way to get a switch. <laughs> Book me a plane to Japan, please. Okay. Wonderful. Right, I've got to go to London Airport to catch my plane. Nintendo HQ. There's got to be one here. Now I just need to find my way inside. Hey you! Yeah, I'm talking to you. What are you doing on private property? Actually, um, I don't suppose you'll let me in there. <laughs> no! Now get out before I call the police. Um, I Do you want something to eat? No. Do you want some pocky? Yes! <laughs> hey, come back here! <laughs> oh no! Whoosh! <laughs> <laughs> You can't catch me, bitch. Hmm. It's really dark in here. What is this place? It's a super beast in a hill. Seller and it's a new, but my last no week. I don't speak any Japanese. Suddenly, it appeared right in the middle of the room. Look at that. Ha! <laughs> 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 Fantastic! <laughs> um, what's happening? Oh no!
Where am I? And who are you? It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. What is it? It's the sword that peels the darkness. What? Sorry. <laughs> I mean, the sword that seals the darkness. Oh, great. Really great. Oh, uh, you see that castle over there? What castle? Yeah, do you know, you have to go to that castle. Why? Fair enough, and I'll tell you, it's because you have to fight the Ganonfugal and make it keel over and duck, then die. No, thank you. Oh, um, but you have to save the princess too. Did you say princess? Yeah. Uh. So will you go? Yes. I'll do it. See you later. Hmm. Go get me some brains. Yes. Oh. Uh, hey there, I've come to save you. Hello! What's the matter? Well, I was hoping you'd be, you know, thick. Well, too bad. I don't know why I even bothered. Um, behind you. Hi everybody, anything happened today? Oh no, it's the Ganonafugal. Ah, get off me! <laughs> Hard like flat, suck. Oh no, this is horrible! <laughs> right, time to die. Everything was lovely once again. Wonderful. Hello! As you know, today it's my 71st birthday, and Line Rider finally got off his lazy ass and made me a present. <laughs> I mean, a present. And off we go. Oh, orange skin. I think it's fake news. They tell you about my policies, and I'm still furious about the rigged election. No Trump jokes, please. Shrapnel in my eyes. I've got a plastic eye. And it's all because Trevor made me sign up for the la la No, stop it. For the Los Angeles Police Department. Then suddenly one day, there was a man who started shooting away like mad. <laughs> and we were doing our best to try and stop the guy from killing everyone in sight. Sometimes my dad doesn't shave and his face is my brother's big face. Mm. Somehow I handcuffed him and forced him into the police car. But not before he shot me in the eye. And that's why my eye bulges out like that. Go fish. 
I'm very sorry for the short end. Tree. But something's better than nothing. Right? I don't know. Hmm. It's my birthday. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Not one of those. Not another one of those little YouTube poops. I don't think it's funny. Uh, um. The Red Sea is blue. Ooh. Ah! I wonder who put that there. Hmm, a present. What's in it? Nice. A map to the golden plums. Look at that. <laughs> uh, where are we, Michael? Hackney. Really? Of course not, you fool. We are in now. Amen. Rick. Blimey. Come on, May. Let's go. Yeah, okay, Michael. Um, Michael. Uh, um, is now. Amen. Rick. Dangerous. Oh, yeah, yeah. Really dangerous. Look out. Oh no! Quick! Get out! Get out of here! May. Look out! There's a tree! No! Shit, Michael. I can't get a moment's peace around here. Pew! Boom! Ah! Ah! That was a closed one, Michael Rosen. Quite right! Anyway, let's go. The Temple of the Golden Plum. It's huge. It's 203 years old. I think it's older. Shh. Watch out, May. There's traps. Okay. Right, May. Don't touch anything. Don't worry about it. The Golden Plum. Got it. Ha! What's in it? Uh, um, I don't, I don't believe it. I really don't. Quick! Get out! Get out of here! May. I just asked you to do one thing, May. You fool. Oh no, this is horrible. Quick! Get out! We got it, May. We got the golden plums. I hate plums. All slimy. Horrible. Plums. <laughs>
Syrup, what a Once my brother said nothing because I know hundreds and hundreds of people will be using the London airport. But anyway, after a few months of this, the 7th of May came. Oh, was that box there before? Of course not. Oh. Oh no. I've got one day to do the entry. Huh? You're fun. I've got to mash it work. Anyway. It is the day I was born, and the day everybody makes really bad night for me. I shouted out, watch out everybody, here goes another one of those little birthday go -bats. Surely not. Mum, anyway, time for some, um, jokes. Why don't we go to you, night dead? We could spend all day there watching you get the night beat out of a silver spout. <laughs> I mean beat out of you. Anyway. Anyway, I'm out of ideas. We can't now. This is the last day. It's just about to go. We won't get on enough. Why is your screen black? I don't know. Then suddenly one day. Oh, yes. Jumbers, jumbers. Reversing things, he's so good. Use of my junk. Since I've been gone, you've had your nose. I wonder what day it is today. Okay, but I feel like I will you get that logo. Get out of here! We are the one. Anyway, I feel like I'm missing something today that isn't 420-related. What? Michael, get out here! Where's that stupid fool guy when you need him? The Michael Rosen. Michael, I need your help right now. I'm okay. Now, when it comes to writing last minute papers, I suggest that one way to think of it... It's not a paper, it's a white Oh. Why the rush then? Birthday collab deadline tomorrow. So you basically need me to help you wish myself happy birthday. Um, I suppose. Hmm. Let's go already. Trousers down. Anything less obvious. Bathroom fiddler. I'm the bathroom fiddler, the bathroom twiddler, the foodler and the doodler, the dawdler and the diddler. I want to try harder than that. Beggars can't be choosers. Root. Screw it. I'm going to turn in like that. Good thinking. Whatever. Hey, my eyes need more better jokes. I don't know. That's enough. Sorry. Foof. Oh. We had a teacher who was so hot, she used to stand out the front going, <laughs> I love murder. Watch out, everybody. Give me the, the space jam. Die. Or else you will die. die. I loved my mum's big boobs. My dad had a big nick, so it's upstairs, into the bathroom, shut the door, and yeah, it was time to mutter bitch. Michael! What's the silly noise going on up there? Oh no! Put a little bit on my thought th
15 Facebook birthday wishes. Wonderful. <laughs> it's funny. I don't actually have any real life friends. Anyway. Was that present there before? What's in it? What happening? I've been up here for three weeks! And these rats! <laughs>
Mum reads the gas meter part, 20,000 and three quarters. My mum had a favourite tree. It was an old cherry tree and I broke a twig off it. <coughs> Solomon the sauce, no I bet not actually. Solomon the dog called Jim. Solomon gets thrown out and goes from house to house asking for somewhere to be put down behind the dustbin. Ow, oh, horror! But when I was a boy, I had a girl in America. I think so. But I'd be afraid to go all the way on my own. I think you're not so. Dad always looks fed up because he doesn't want to come. But Mum chucks to them properly. And Bubba tells stories that go on for hours about people she knows who are dead. And at the end of the story, it always seems as if she's been cheating on Zayda with the man who read the Bible. Me and Sam, um, for my birthday, I decided to go to the Netherlands for something nice. There we were going down the street. It was then I noticed the woman in the window. She was sexy. Nice. The red lights on. Nice. I put up my hand. Yes, said the horror. Queen Juliana is a fat banana. <laughs> I mean, suck my fat banana. She, she, she looked horrified. I'm just washing the window. It's almost impossible to, to eat it so sour. Oh no, yes. this is horrible. So there I was, uh, in bed, nibbling at the corner of the sheet. It tastes of old jizz stains, but I'd rather not think about that. And this goes on and on and on and on and off till I fall asleep. My father got up in the night to eat and ate, but pleasure. he's horrible and aiming. So when my dad eat and ate, dead, it landed all over the floor, all over the table all over the kitchen door handle, all over the fruit table, salad, and even all over me in the morning. It's cold and I had to look away and I see, just think of something else, will you? Oh, oh no. Yes. Do you know, people say to me, <laughs> fair enough, and I'll tell you, it's oh, no. because I'm getting rather sick of receiving presents that literally had poop in the name, but oh, it's oh yes, because now I'm one year closer to death. And when I keel over and die, you can't bet I'm going to haunt the poop. It'll be great. I'll go ooh and stuff. Anyway, then I hear a funny voice going, hey, what do you want for your birthday, Mick? And I said, actually, I don't really need anything this year. Hmm. Hey, do you want pudding? No, really, I'm good. Hey, do you want a sweet? No. How about a jar of marmalade? No. The pudding is okay. It's not wonderful. That only makes me want it less. Do you want an apple? The best present you could give me is to leave me alone. I'm going to give you apple pie. For fuck's sake. It's got such an intense flavour. I don't want um, it. it really I want sort of to give you pudding now. Quiet, please. Eat apple pie now. Don't be about to kill it. Would you just eat pudding? I can't get a moment's peace um, around here. Do you want one of those little chocolate Swiss rolls? I, I think the most important thing is apple pie. There is a green. Do you want milk in your tea? What new ways for you to eat apple pie? Everybody. Quiet, please. The kazoo. Now, if you four don't stop it, I'm going to put your thumb in the air. Oh, that's quite odd. I'm going to put you out the middle. No. Do you under the... My grand gave me a red shoe horn. Do you understand? Yeah. 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 No. Why? Well, the reason for that is we wouldn't want to let the cake go to waste. Oh, you shouldn't have... You know, it's the best cake in the world. Older Rosen, do you have something to tell us? And when I say us, I mean me. It's all right. It's okay. Okay, then what's that on your face? I don't know. So now I'm trying to kill Older Rosen by squashing his eyes out of his head. All oh, chewy and sweet. Mmm. I'm on the floor dying. It's not wonderful, but at least I've got a nice warm feeling chocolate cake in my belly. Goody, goody, goody. And I go to sleep. But when you boil different types of spices, you end up with a sort of revival paste. <laughs> I 
love Michael Rosen's chocolate cake. Now I've got another reason to hate my birthday. <laughs> So I join in. Many months later. Nice. Stop. Once I went to the fridge. Once I went to the fridge, saw our penis in there, and I thought, what is this? You two. Oh, never mind. Anyway, Mum says, right, you two. But what have all the raisins gone? Um, I think Brian ate them. Conversations with Harry Bo's granddad. Do you want a hamburger? And then suddenly, I remembered <laughs> Harry Bo's granddad is dead. Bump. This was all a dream. I used to read word of magazine. Salt and pepper and heavy tea up in the limousine. Hot food. Ah, oh, in the mouth. It was lovely. But I'm trying to kill the fly by squashing it with a chunk of squash. Lol. Puzzle 203. She's my dad. And my sister is my mum. How the duck does that work? Dean hmm. says, whoa, whoa. Thank you. Nice drink. That's enough. George costs <laughs> George said, sometimes my dad's a prickly bitch. The new teacher said, what does your mother say about that? And George said, I don't know. I've never seen her again. My dad never calls me. When I tell fibs, my dad calls me a disgrace to the frozen name. Aww. Hello, Mr. Rosen. The Michael Rosen rap. You may think I'm happy. You may think I'm sad. You may think I'm crazy. You may think I'm Oh no! Anyway. Toenails! So I used to go round the shops for three hours looking at chocolate razors, little girls, kisses, clutches, chalts, gingers. I think you know what I mean. Spots in my eyes. I've got spots in my eyes. Tidy your two year old. But I'm trying to kill a cool guy on the wall with a rolled up blade of a knife. <laughs> Lodge, a girl said, I wrote myself a letter. So I said, what did it say? And she said, I don't know. I'm blind. A boy said, I'm really glad my mum called me Jack. I said, why is that? He said, because that's my name.
very glad you've made me a silly ass and you sickly debo. One key chunk of teeth, but that doesn't make up for all those birthdays you ducked up with those <laughs> you two poops that made me look like a pedophile and a necrophile think of the kids looking for a nice Michael Rosen or me and we see this shit. <laughs> <laughs> and it's no laughing matter. Now, perhaps, I thought, when I got up this morning, I won't have to watch another one of those piece of sub you man crap by that pervert one key tongue got tea for once. Fair enough, and I'll tell you what I'm going to give you for your 71st birthday treat. Here goes. Oh, horrible. Hmm, it's more like it. If you look out of your window, you can see a brownie. You mad brownie? I hate this song. Can I have another song? No! Please, please, please. No! Don't go on, Nick. Don't go on. Any more, and you'll be out. Harry both granddad. Hard luck, Nick. I've got the radio. Oh no, this is horrible. I fucking want you. There's the White House. Once done old Trump grabbed my mum by the pussy and now I'm going to come it my elephant against Trump. Ha 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 Hard <laughs> like Trump. Guess you can't make a mayor car great again now. <laughs> the fuck am I? What's this here? It's a dog hunting a bear. Hmm. Oh, this is good. I like watching animals. Die. This is really hot. Here we go again. And then I ate the dog's dick. I'm bored, and I don't know what to do. I know. I'll rob the bank. Good thinking. Nice car. Now, how about a little music? Would you believe it? We oh. All right, put the money in the bag. Yes. Hooray! I got the cash. <laughs> I'm really wild, bitch. Bitch.
Drop it. We were off to have a picnic. What's that? What on earth could smell like that? Dead dogs. Hundreds of them. Eddie, do you want some dead dogs? <laughs> Laid everything on the ground. Sass. Look at me! I'm the cock! I rushed over and grabbed hold of the p <laughs> It takes us longer to find where to have the picnic than it takes to land up stuck headfirst in a hedge. That would be the sensible thing to do. Slight yells would be to go over to the car, close the door and wave goodbye. At least Eddie would be dead. Wonderful. And then we went home. <laughs> What a drink! Hello! Michael, you are 71. Why don't we go to Hollywood? Yeah, it'll be great. Mum said yes, so we took sandwiches and chocolate and drinks. I was really looking forward to it. I have a dream. He's got my book. Get off me! That's my ear! Look out the window. There's a lamppost. I can't get a moment's peace around here. Clayter. Stop right there. Where do you think you're trying to go? Hollywood, please. All right. Go, go, go. So we got the tickets and we got onto a plane. And as we were getting on, I said, Brian, I want a wee. But well, he can't now. This is the last plane. Today it's just about to go. We won't get on another one. Oh. Stop right there. I want a wee. But hang on to your penis and listen right here. I'm going to tell you something that'll burn your anus. Now they're trying to invent spaceships. A Hollywood, please. And we waited. Then, suddenly, the Hollywood never appeared. My dad, my dad, granddad. Once my brother said, why don't we go? We, we wouldn't be necessary for me to tell you how to love them all. But I don't give him any. So sad. Useless birthday presents. When I was a lad, I ate four dozen eggs every morning to help me get large. But, and this is a big but, now that I'm grown, I eat my toenails! Happy birthday, Michael Rosen. Like always, for your birthday. I'm going to give you one present that cost more. It's more. I'm going to give you my daughter, Juliet, who's only 13. She gets the smiles. You get your smiles. All you've got to do is move to the hole in the wall. And whenever you feel like a quick ooh or a quick ah, you take it out, twist it about a bit, and there you are. Glory hole in the wall with Juliet on the other side. Terrific. The mystery. I got out of bed this morning and found that I am only wearing a shirt that changes colours. 
Wow. So I go outside, I start to realize that I am not wearing my underpants. So I go to visit Harry Bow to ask him who gave me the shirt. So I started off running up the road towards him. And as I'm running along, I fall onto Jenny. What who that's cat from fat prison and bounce off her us like a trampoline. Whee! And as I went flying into the air, far away in the distance I see a man plowing a woman. So I land a flump right on Harry Boat and he says, Jenny's bleeding. And I said, Yeah, your mother loves your brother more than you. Oh no! He said. Anyway, Harry Bow says, go find Hansel and Gristle. And so I take his go-kart and drive over a few children on my way to Hansel and Gristle. When I came in here, Hansel told me, oh, Riddle, all day long, it's been an hour. I discharge those from my shaft. Both men and woman go down on me. What am I? And elevator. Right, well, you toddle off and leave us to eat in peace. So go see Eileen for your next clue. And so the car's moving to the dinner hall where I meet her. But she won't tell me until I kill Clark Kent. And she gave us some grip tonight. I shook it and banged it on his forehead. Wave goodbye to Superman. Then Eileen told me to go off to see Mark Sabin at the university. So later, what on earth could smell like that? A dead dog? Um, no, my mom played has just fallen out of my ginger bum. So who gave me the shirt that changes colours? Then, all quiet, he said. I did, because you are the greatest white tea peeps of, of all time. Thanks. And so, in the end, I had a plum-tastic birthday. Yay. <laughs> I'm Michael, and I'm writing to tell you that EA is a broken down old brown shit to stop me getting my backside spiked. Ah! And if you don't bang the door handles back in, the doors won't close. For God's sake, what have you done now? Plastic jellyfish That's tied up jellyfish. and dangling from don't the mirror. Roly poly, roll it into long, thin sausage. Jizz! Bend them a nip one on top of one another. Up and up and up and up and up and up and up. To make crack pot, it's still soft. It slowly hardens. It was obvious. Innuendo! <laughs> Smack them with my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Poems have to rhyme, you disrespectful little weasel. I go out and go fucking crazy is a short rhyme. Oh, Stretch oh, out, oh. link. <sighs> Hello and welcome to the poetry class. Let's have a look at it, shall we? It smells like onions. It would make me happy if I was dead. Caressing my face in the inner city. Mm. He watches you take off your clothes. Right. Hey, little hamburger, you can't run Be careful, treat your snake kindly. Crush it, trail it in the dirt, sit on it. <laughs> no, surely not. <laughs> I'm just a fly. In the trap the spider set. What are you doing? I came to wash my knickers and blouses. You get a great rhythm. Every year, some ignorant kid takes a ride in a clothes dryer just like this one. Ahoy! They've only gone and left me. Help me, help me, someone. So embarrassing, pinky finger. Shut up! Ouch. You're not allowed to Loud. do anything. I'm a mad doctor, Cur best bit of China. Whoa! Two. All I say is rubbish, and that, but once a week. Ow! Get off me! 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 Get off me!
Plunky schlucks. Plonky, schlonky, clinky, splinky, schlinkle. Slodgily, flodgily, flodgily, shrinkly, slimy, grimy, squelchy, ghastly. Man! Have a nice day. Goodbye. I've seen a terrifying creature called the Sky Fugle. No one had ever seen this thing before. It was huge. It was taller than me. And he starts up talking in his spooky voice. It said, Do you know, people say to me, if that's true, how come you're here to tell the tale? I don't know. Who writes this stuff? God, it's amazing. Are you guys lost like I am? Do you all right? Can you hear me? Quick! Get out! Get out of here! The Sky Fogel has escaped! Imagination. Hello! What do you want? Can you hear me? Inspector? Gadget! <laughs> I mean, Inspector! Cool guy! Can I come in? Okay. Don't worry about it. Where were you on the night of the murder? Um, uh, Tamil Hempstead. What's that? Say that to the security can last. <laughs> yeah, look, look, this isn't fair. I was that plum tech. Correct. Correct. Hmm. Anyway, did you? No, Harry Bird Granddad. Yeah, he was my friend. Is he okay? Look, Harry Bird Granddad is gone. Well, somebody should find him. Michael. Yeah. 
Harry but granddad died. Oh no! I don't think he did it. How did he die? Nobody knows, but... And this is a black butt. I heard awful noises there. Yeah, the sky fogel. I'm going to put you out the car and leave you by the side of the road. That's really dangerous, you know. Ha! Yeah, yeah, baby. I'll stay out here. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Enemy spotted. It's quick. Get out. Get out of here. Quick. Get out. Get out of here. What happened? The sky fugle. Get out of here. Oh, oh no. no. Quick. What's happened? <laughs> so am I. Me and my brother went to London Airport five years ago to see the Olympic Games. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway. Let's remind ourselves of a few things, Brian, shall we? Okay, don't worry about it. First of all, we went to London Airport. Yeah. So we got the tickets. Let's go. Stop right there. We are in London, you fool. Oh no! I bought two tickets for the Bombastic Games. You are fucking stupid. Quick! Get out! And off we go. Not long after, we got to the park. Look how many kids there are. Oh yeah, yeah. Where should we go first, Brian? Um, I don't know. I know. The 203 meet sprint. Ladies and gentlemen, prepared for the 203 meet dash. Ha! Here we go again. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to it. Our hero, Chris Chanamella, come will you win? Can I have a fantastic? No! But it's so hot outside for fuck's sake. Here! There he is, Chris Chanamella, come! Look at that. Wait a sec. What is Older Rosen doing there? What a drink! Hey, come back here, older Rosen. Now, if we ever go to the Olympics again, older Rosen can come along. Hooray! It was absolutely fantastic.
both candidates will have two minutes to answer each audience and online question. We hope to get to as many questions as we can, except for now. Ladies and gentlemen, the Republican nominee for President Donald Trump and the Democratic nominee for President Hillary Clinton and the Democratic nominee for President Hillary Clinton. Thank you very much for being here. We're going to begin with a uh, question. No. Do you think? Hello. I'm Michael Rosen, and I have a question for you, Mr. Trump. Why did you say all those horrible things about women? No, I didn't say that at all. I don't think you understood what was said. This was locker room talk. I don't care. Uh, I'm not proud of it. I apologize to my family. I apologize to the American people. Ha! You don't mean that. Certainly I'm not proud of it, but this is locker room talk. Whatever you fucking prick. You know, when we have a world where you have ISIS chopping off heads, where you have, and frankly, drowning people in steel cages, where you have... <laughs> I have great respect for women. Sorry, uh, what did you say? Nobody has more respect for women than I do. I don't. I don't believe it. I really don't. Do you really respect women or do you just say that to save your ass? Now, frankly, you, you hear these things, I said, and I was embarrassed by it, but I have tremendous respect for women. Stop right there, you prick. I hate people who decided they wouldn't wait for the woman to give them consent. So remember, fuck off and you leave women alone. I'm going to make our country safe. We're going to have borders on our country, which we don't have now. Okay. People are pouring into our country, and they're coming in from the Middle East and other places. Oh, no, uh, this is horrible. We're going to make horrible. America safe again. We're going to make America great again, but we're going to make America safe again. Nice. What do you have to say to that, Miss Clinton? Well, like everyone else, I've spent a lot of time thinking over the last 48 hours um, about what we heard and saw. You know, with prior Republican nominees for president, I, I disagreed with them. And? On politics, policies, principles, but I never questioned their fitness to serve. <laughs> Donald Trump is different. I said starting back in June that he was not fit to be president and commander in chief. And many Republicans and independents have said the same thing. Hmm. How come? What we all saw and heard on Friday yes. was yes. Donald talking about women. And? What he thinks about women. So what? What he does to women. Like what? And he has said that the video doesn't represent who he is. Does it? But I think it's clear to anyone who heard it that it represents exactly who he is. Oh, no. Because we've seen this champagne. Champagne! Champagne! We have seen him insult women. But, and this is a big but, he's going to stop all the masslings from coming into the USA. This is good for women, you fool. I think you know what I mean. We've seen him rate women. <laughs> Holy crap! On their appearance. Oh. Awkward. We've seen him rate Barris. You know what? Never mind. We are not going back there. Yes, this is who Donald Trump is. Okay. Yeah, okay. But it's not only women, and it's not only this video that raises questions about his fitness to be our president. Oh, no. You're not going where I think you're going, are you? Because he has also targeted immigrants, African Americans, Latinos, people with disabilities, POWs, Muslims. What? People with disabilities, POWs, Muslims. Maslings. Really? Niggas. You idiots! I was so angry inside, I was bubbling. Miss Clinton, you listen right here, I'm gonna tell you something that'll burn your snatch. Here's a quick lesson about his lie. They hate women with a burning passion. So remember, by letting hundreds and hundreds of masslings into the state, you're letting them brave little girls. Get out! Get out!
get out of here! The king saw an has escaped! Ow! That hurt! She looked like she had never been quite so triggered in all her life. We all got up and ran out the door and got away as fast as we could. By the time we got ourselves together, I'm standing there laughing. Oh no, the moment I dread when King Tonsonath goes from being furious to absolutely fucking insane. Oh no, this is horrible. Not long after, a few days later, the creature had gone. We never saw her again. But there were poor people, there were bad houses, there were people out of work. Unemployed! So sad. Such a sad, sad place. And then, in the middle of the night, I woke up and I thought, on <laughs> all. Oh yeah, and uh, I was just looking for the phone. Oh. In the morning, I get up. Suddenly, it appeared. On its own. Right in the middle of a burned house. Hooray! He got through! Woohoo! Yes, good. Oh my bug, this is finally it! Nice. Everything was lovely once again. Wonderful. And then we went home. You may think I'm happy, you may think I'm sad, you may think I'm crazy, you may think I'm mad, but hang on to your seats and listen right here. I'm gonna tell you something that'll burn your ear. The Sky Fugle. There was a man who turned up on our way once, put up a tent in the park he did, put notices all round the streets saying that he was going to put on show a terrifying creature called the Sky Fugle. No one had ever seen this thing before. The next day we all turned up to see the fiercest animal in the world. We all sat down and waited. Hello everybody. Thanks for coming. <clears throat> I... The man went off behind the curtain. Suddenly we all heard a terrible noise. <laughs> Suddenly the man came running onto the stage in front of the curtains and he screamed, Quick! Get out! The Sky Fogel has escaped! <laughs> we all got up. ran out the door and got away as fast as we could. By the time we got ourselves together, the man had gone. And none of us has ever seen the sky fugle. The end. Hmm. Oh no, this is horrible. This isn't dream. Yes? I am here to kill you. Ah! Ah! Oh no, this is horrible! Thank you, Michael. You no need to shout. No need to yell. Oh, uh. Yeah, okay.
Tidy your toenails. Yeah, okay. Eat it. Okay. Anyway. Hello! Everybody. Very, very body, everybody, right body, why body, body, or did I work? Shh! No, I'm sorry. Uh... Hmm. What going on? Blimey. I'm fucking 71, and yes, it is the 7th of May, so all the poopers be making me say things. You know, horrible stuff. Oh no! The moment I dread when the poopers force me to read bad shit gay slash fiction. So here goes. Box. <laughs> Look what I've made for myself. Look what I'm doing. Look at the net. Even as I speak. Would you believe it? I can see that you've already begun with the dead. Me. Do you know I've got a really spicy me. Here goes. <gasps> plums, 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 plums. Yeah, I think that's really funny. And I don't give a bath what you say about how we are number one. You're the man cancer. Plums, you're all cancer in the world. And that's a fact. Plums. <laughs> No one in, too, or how my mum and dad learnt to hate me. Sometimes you come home and there's no one in. There are no lights on. No food ready. No telly. No one laughing. <laughs> just like no one laughing at this entry. Anyway, just you on your own. That's when my dick starts doing things. You know, the, the stuff. I'll tell you what I do. Straight away, I was up the stairs into my room, and then I start the masturbation. And it was rather nice. I think you know what I mean. Anyway, after a few months of this, yeah, it went on for ages. The front door opened. Hello! My mum calls out, What the duck, bitch? It's been three fucking months. I thought you'd have died. She gets to my door. I'll have to hold it in. I can't. It's hurting. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. <laughs> My mum is trying to turn the handle. The door opens. My mum says, oh no. How long have you been at it? Uh, um, for three months. Yeah. My mum says, <laughs> you fucking loser. And then she left. I've never seen her again. I was born on the 7th of May. A woman called May became Prime Minister. And we looked to see what there was. There was Brexit. Don't like that. There was the Snoopers Charter. Don't like that. And there weren't going to be any more brown people. I like that. Similarly, as you say, Andrew, we're all agreed that we're all agreed. The piece is the shit. Uh, what I certainly want to be pressing the government on is some of the dicks. I think it's right there has to be a penis. So it then comes not in my pussy, but in my backside. It sounds to me like a huge cock. That's what she just said, wasn't it? We're all agreed. We're all agreed that we want stakes. I think it's right there has to be a has to be distributing their money more. Mean I'm only distributing about distributing their money to more things than our brangers. I certainly want to be depressing. Yay. Yeah. I certainly want to be repressing everybody's rights. No breathing. You're talking about harassing Harrison Ford. Then, of course, he's resentful that he's having to pay money for a job that he says he could do all over again. Which should kick put him in the dick. I was seduced by this. Uh, uh, it's absolutely right, as Michael says, that we have seen. A do you think that if we went to America, we could get rid of all the crackers forever? Malcolm said. Yep. 
I don't just mean controlling the government, Malcolm said. I mean real white genocide, like we said we would. Yep. How will we get to America, said Malcolm. You see that path down there? Somewhere along the path is the border between Wales and America. And we started walking on down the path. It wasn't very easy because there was a great big wall. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no, we got a bomb through it. Stop right there, said Nazi security guard. Where do you think you're trying to go? Then I said, we're trying to run away from the drug kings. <laughs> I mean, we're trying to steal some jobs. Ah, that was the mistake. If you went to America, it was out school death camp. There was a Nazi death camp underneath the school hall where they used to kill Jews with a rolled up comic. Miss, I've been up here for at least three seconds. And there's dead Jews. And they're nibbling my tomato. Do you know, people say to me, if that's true, how come the Red Sea rhymes with giraffes? Fair enough, and I'll tell you, it's because eight tulips. Then suddenly one day, my name is Michael Rosen. I'm a god, and this is my story. It's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but dog shit. If this was a film, you would now hear... <laughs> music. But it's not a film, it's a YouTube poop, sirs. I used to be looked after by Jews. Now, I've got nothing against Jews. I really haven't. Jews do their thing, I do mine. Here are my thoughts about bikes. Jews really like plums. Shit rubbish. You know when people leave out bags of plums in the street? They love that. Do you eat plums? I don't think so. Neither do I. I don't mean to sound like a racist. I don't mean to look down my nose at them. Okay, yes, I do have a big nose, but that's what Jews have, hmm? Anyway, they're very good at jokes, especially cock jokes. So the Jew came up to me and told me a cock joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Cock. <laughs> I think that's really, really funny. Don't... Oh, perhaps you don't, anyway. And the bushes brushed up against me. We were looking through the old photos. When we got to one, of my mum with a dead baby in her big flappy snatch. I think that's really, really funny. Don't, oh, perhaps you don't, anyway. Conversations with a two-year-old. Do you want an apple? No. What do you want then? No. Do you want to puff some wheat? Yes. What are you doing? Smoking weed. What's the time? Four twenty. What's the matter? I've got a head. Daddy and the cuff. Not long ago, we went on holiday with some people who've got cocks. When the boys took them out of the pants, Daddy loved stroking them, going, Hello, gerbils. Now, when we got her assess all over again, what we've got is Michael Rosens. So we wanted to get rid of them. So we wanted to get rid of them. So then he puts down these little trays of cooking oil. Only the Michael Rosens don't know it's cooking oil. And they think it's something really nice, like peach syrup. So one morning, we're having sex, and when Daddy has breakfast, sometimes he goes, hoop, 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 clunk, dead. Well, this particular morning, he died under the table. Better have a look. Oh no, he's got a dead mouse in his hand. Yeah, that's the man who is a mouse. And he's going, snans. The world's shortest poem, I think, was written by somebody called Josh Brandreth, and it goes, oh, shit. It would be great if you subscribed, that is, become a subscribed, that is, become a scribe, that is, become a scribe. That way, you get to see when I become Pope. <laughs> Birthday time. I'm 71. <laughs> My brother's just given me a kick up the arse. Snatch. Two children on another table started practicing licking each other's bum. Oh, spaghetti, could you do that bum licking thing later, please? We're doing the Billy worksheet thing now. In a puff of some crack. <laughs> this is amazing, Malk. <laughs> like, like, really amazing. Like, really, really amazing. When I say tea, people bring me homework. When I say coat, people say, shut your gob. And you did something wrong, like, I didn't punch him. He shat very fast on the toast.
you. Trousers down! Bathroom fiddler. I'm the bathroom fiddler. Nice. Winning! I'm winning! Ah, my mouth's full of I drop my hand down fast, and out comes Catch the cloud! I blow cock. Then I stick my finger down the bowl and scoop out the mucky stuff down there. And then I stand and dream, sucking on the cock. And then I stand and dream, sucking on the cock. And dream, sucking on the cock. Sucking on the cock. On the cock. The cock. Cock. Sausages. Jeez. My brother's on the flooring. My brother is on the flooring. Why? My brother is on the flooring because he's on the flooring. <laughs> Jokes. A ball. Conversations with a German guy. Do you want an apple? Nine. What do you want then? I an apple. Swinging the conquer that was waiting to get away, waiting to get away, waiting to get away, waiting to get away, waiting to get away. Swinging the concord, just think of something and you're missing it. Swinging the conversations with the two. Hello, and welcome to Cook Me Up. Let's meet our three bachelors. Bachelor number one is a poet from Elm Hempstead. Please welcome Michael. Bachelor number two is a bus conductor from Hackney. Please welcome Golden Rosen. Bachelor number three is a doctor from Holland. Please welcome yet Golden Rosen. Eileen is a dancing school teacher from London. Say hello to our bachelor. Hello, everybody. Let's get on with this. Bachelors, what's your favourite food? <laughs> Plums. Um, uh, chocolate cake. Uh, cornflakes. Okay. <laughs> What's your favourite activity? <laughs> Masturbation. Reading The Tailor of Gloucester. Um, working out. Hmm. What's your pet peeve? Tomatoes. You know that fleshy 3, bit? 3,500 chocolate biscuits. I wasn't done. You know that fleshy bit? The way it's... Washing up. Stop interrupting me. What's your favourite fruit? <laughs> Lemon. Lemon. Peaches. Favourite book? Audible. Popcorn. The Tailor of Gloucester. Wikipedia. It's my birthday. No one cares. The last question. Describe yourself with three words. Um, thick cooking oil. Egg on toast, I think. Underwater swimming fandango. What? Okay. I choose a batch of number two. Hooray! That's all we have time for. See you next time on Cook Me Up. What the fuck? I'm gay. Dad says, Phew, I'm gay. But my mother wouldn't let him live anymore. If you don't like me, fuck off. Conversations with the two, or how I learned the handle and the bombs. Whoa! But I'm trying to kill a fly on the wall with a roll doll. Hmm. The fitness gram pacer test. No, 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 no. And everything was once again. Kaboom. The end. Bye, everybody. <laughs> It is my birthday. Strange. I thought Brute will show up again, just like she did last time. Has Father Christmas forgotten me? <laughs> I mean Brute. Kaboom. Hello! Brute, are you not going to show up for my birthday? No. Why? Because of what happened last time. Let's remind ourselves of a few things, shall we? Uh, actually, um, let's not. I'm still recovering from what happened.
Never mind, dear. Don't worry about it. Get well soon. Thank you. Happy birthday again. Thank you, Root. Kaboom. Now, what shall I do for my birthday treat? I know, maybe I will buy one of those Nintendo Switches, you know. It'll be great. I was really looking forward to it. When I got there, I found out that there was no Switches left. No switches at all in the UK. Yeah. And I cried. Well, actually, I didn't. Sorry to interrupt. What is it now? I've been looking all over the place for you. Oh, no. Not you again. See the skull. Surely not. I'm Ryuko Matoi. Nice to meet you. I'm Michael Rosen. I come for your pinch. Stop. Right there. If you remember last time, you started it. You started yelling at me and swinging that blade of yours because I said that your outfit is shameless. Aren't you? Where did you even get that awful thing? I got it from my father. Is your father in? I want a word with him. Father. Never mind, dear. I can see that it is a painful topic for you. Oh, what the hell? You're not too bad. <laughs> no need to have a riot. Shut your eyes. Take a deep breath. Stop it. Look, right, that's it. <laughs> Hard luck, you call. Always knew you were a bit weak. Wake up, wake up! Oh no! She's dead. She isn't dead. You'd have to check her pulse to notice those perfect breasts of hers aren't. <laughs> Thank you, Mervyn. That's enough. I'm very glad she's not dead. But, do you really think her breasts are perfect? It really gets my goat when guys rough up dames. She started it, I didn't. She started it. It was you, you bastard. Ow! That hurt. I didn't hurt you. But now I will. Boom. Rolled up comic. Pew. <laughs> Hard luck, Mervyn. Always knew you were a bit weak. It was then. I noticed I beat up two people senseless. Oh no! What am I gonna do? I know. Mervyn will be okay on his own. Meanwhile, I will take you core to Japan and I will buy one of those Nintendo Switches. But first of all. <laughs> okay then, we're off. London Airport. Two tickets to Japan, please. Okay. Um, is she alright? She's Japanese, so she's not very talkative. Die, Jabba. She's deaf. <laughs> I'm in mute. Really? What's that? Behind you. What? That was a close one. And then suddenly, I remembered this funny little rhyme. People said, I'm a bit up because I pushed Arx out of ice cream truck. But now, it's Ryuko Martoi and no ice cream truck. Now, I will get my birthday treat. Can I have a switch? Wonderful. And then we went home. Not long after, I don't know what was I thinking. I know. Open your eyes. That program's called That is a Sheikah Slate. Set move. Ha! Pete C Master Race. Uh, mm. ah. 
I'm Juliana, good banana. Let me make you really good. Not long after, don't have laughter. Then I hit the Hollywood. Who is the next person? How was your birthday treat? Um, that wasn't very nice. Uh, actually, um, it was horrible. Then mum said, anyone want any afters? And we looked to see what there was. There was apple pie, and I had this really long spoon to eat it with, and now, hmm, everyone was looking at me. I had to reach up to get to the cherry on the top. Got it. People were looking at me. I was apple pie, then I just fell over and died. How come you're here to tell the tale? I'm Michael F King. Rosen, you fool. This is a turn called Michael. The hottest boy Michael. called Richard. Does it? I wonder if it would bend. Bendy. Yeah. Bendy, bendy, bendy. Yeah. Bendy, bendy. Bendy, bendy, bendy. Oh, no. My mum and dad said, right. We to kill a fly on the wall with a rolled up comic. Pew! I have to say it was as dark as night. What I don't know is that he's got the empty washing up bottle under the water. Blub, 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 blub. It's filling up with dirty, sussy water. And next thing, it's out of the water and he's gone. <laughs> and it's squished. All over my face. The car trick. Not a tree. Oh no, this is horrible. I don't have to put up with you behaving like this. All I'm asking you to do is to keel over and die. In front of my eyes, he becomes a screaming demon. Ah, who cares about other things? C is for cookie. That's good enough for me. C is for cookie. Hi everybody, have any of them. you seen Brian? Oh my fucking god. What's the big deal? Um, you have I've been gone for 40 years. What? Do you want an apple? Happy birthday, cunt. Holy fuck. I'm 71 years old. Wait. Well, if you're 71, why do you look like you're 61? Maybe because these videos were recorded about ten fucking years ago. That's pretty gay. You know what? I'm also pretty gay. Look, if I fuck on my own phone, then neither of us will be very gym. I like horchata, yeah. When it's nice and cold, yeah. It's a cinnamon drink that looks just like semen. Camtronic 16. The Michael Rosen crazy birthday treat. 71. Here's me, and my mum's just given birth to me on the 7th of May. Then I hear some people give a shout, one push Mrs. Rosen and he'll be out. I'm telling you, that was a puzzle to me. I shouted out, did you shoot my gender? Doctor shouted, oh no. Not one of those, not another one of those little SJWs. Surely not. Um, Connie Rosen, are you sure you want to keep your baby? My mum said, yes. I go and stand on the shiny doctor. Get off me! I think That's this my is ear. Really brilliant. <laughs> I juked and jived around my room because I'm excited for the birthday project. You know the kind of thing. The Vi of Vi. Ritter Sport. MM2 Wood. Our project was 
peach syrup. What a drink. So I drank the lot. Not long after, a few seconds later, I went to the Michael Rosen Ratter. Sometimes my mum and dad used to go to school. My brother said, do we go riding on the dinosaurs? No, we don't. Fuck off, Brian. And I ran and ran and jumped on my fridge. Once I went mad in the bag of plums. A hip hop, a hip hop hat. I'm giving you all the Michael Rosen. Ah! So then I woke up. Something. Oh, was that windmill there before? Why am I hanging upside down? And there's a soapy flannel on my face. Must have been the beach syrup. Maybe next time I'll just stick to the tonic. Rather nice. Once my friend Harry Boat came to school and said, why don't we murder the bus conductor for your birthday treat? So it's rush, rush onto the bus. And when we got our tickets off him, Harry Boat looks into my eye. Wink, wink. But the bus conductor is not stupid. He knows something's going on. So he looked round. Oh, no. And that's when Harry Boat screamed, quick, before the little pig escapes. It was then Harry Boat jumped on the bus conductor. Trouble was, the bus conductor was so strong that he threw Harry Boat out the window and onto the side of the road. Then he turned to me and said, all oh, right, that's it, Michael. He sounds like he's going to really do for me. So now he asks, do you want to have a bad time? Oh, no. <laughs> no, I bet not, actually. First of all, he shoves me really hard against the wall. Then he made me lie down on the ground on my back and he took this chocolate bar out of his pocket and he put it very carefully between my eyes. Then he took this plum out of his pocket and he starts swinging the plum to and fro in front of my eyes and he starts burning the plum and talking in his spooky voice. Smell the plum, smell the plum. And I was snuffling with my nose like I was breathing in plums. Mmm. Smells nice. Wonderful. Later that day, I woke up. I was tied to the wall bars inside the bus conductor's cell. So I looked round to see what there was, all hoping. Then, suddenly, the bus conductor appeared out of the darkness. He looked like a terrifying madman. He starts to laugh. Look, <laughs> yeah, look, look. Do you want something to eat? It was then he noticed my face. Are you all right? Do you want some puffed wheat? No. Do you want an apple? No. What do you want then? Uh, um, I want to leave, please. Oh, but then you will miss the party. Suddenly the lights come on. <laughs> Harry Bow's there with a little soggy cake and Charmaine and Donna the bus conductor unlocked my chains and he goes, Watch out, everybody. Michael Rosen's 71 years old. Yeah, he's far too old for chocolates and drinks. For me, I'm standing there and I start to sulk because I want loads of cake for my birthday treat. But then Harry Bow starts to laugh. Look, he says, Never mind, Michael. You can have one pizza if you want, okay? Yeah? And everything was lovely once again. Wonderful. And then we murdered the bus conductor and went home. Bag of plums, or how I learnt to kill desks with lids. We went to this Michael Rosen plum cafe, and I had loads to eat. I had plums and spaceships. The plum was huge, and there were hundreds of spaceships, hundreds and hundreds of them, and I ate the lot. Then Mum said, Quiet, please. I'm talking. Do you want an apple? Why? I said, I don't know. And we looked to see what there was. There was the Sky Fugle. Shit. Don't like that. There was sloppy, cheesy pizza joke. Really? Don't like that. And there was telly. Oh, I like that. So I bought these wonderful things. And I gave them to the ducks. They were very pleased. And for a week or so, we played games. My favourite was Frozen Land. Nice. 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 Not long after, a few days later, I remembered this funny little rhyme in my rap. When I was six, I ate a bag of plum. <laughs> I mean, I was born on the 7th of May. 
Oh, was that piece of present there before? What is it? Ah, won't you believe it? A great big bag of plums. Hmm. I wonder who put that there. But actually, um, that was rather nice. Uh, actually, um, it was special. It had a little presence inside the presence. So you only present one presence at a time. Logic. And I had the lot. Presence. Ink. Goldfish. Toenails. London Airport. Once my brother said, why don't we go to London Airport for your birthday treat? We could spend all day there, London Airport, looking at the planes. It would be great. Yeah, I said, it would be great. We there was a man who turned up round our way once, put up a tent in the park he did, put notices all round the street saying, my name is Sex Terrorist and I can drop bombs. I think you know what I mean. So here goes. Oh no, this is horrible. There was an awful yelling and crying. There was the noise of chains rattling and someone shouting. Suddenly the man came on the shiny floors and then that really does it. Michael Morphine. Power Rosen. The Project. Uh, huh? No. Today I turn 71 years old. Hooray! Yeah! <laughs> Chocolate cake. cake. <laughs> Down the stairs, into the kitchen, open the cupboard, and yeah! There it is! Can I take it out? So I think, I wonder if it would bend. Never. That's enough. I'm telling you this. Stop making shit. Tea content. Fantastic. Plums. Sorry, yeah. Sorry. Don't worry about it. The furious goldfish. It was Christmas morning. So it's rush, rush downstairs, front room. And there was a box with a lid and locks big enough for me to sit in. And I thought, what's in it? Uh, goldfish. Hmm. Suddenly we all heard a terrible noise. There was an awful yelling and crying. There was the noise of uh, goldfish shouting. Ah, 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 get off me! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no. Teachers sometimes duck my ass. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. Let's think about how I can peep on my waifu. Get out of here! Birthday to you, Michael Rosen, you 71 year old. Hot airport. Once my brother said it's fucking horrible. Here I open a window. S suddenly my brother goes whoosh out the window. We never saw him again. I said, <laughs> hard luck, brother. Always knew you were a bit weak. Next day we all turned up to see my brother. My brother turned into a sky fugle and killed my goldfish. <laughs> you may think I'm happy, you may think I'm sad, you may. A woman opposite, she was watching me. She looked like she had never seen the Michael Rosen penis in all her life. Oh no, this is horrible! Birthday treat. Oh, uh, could you get me the mix? Could you get me it's a fat red penis? So here goes. I shove it really hard and fast, and it bangs against the Eileen. Suddenly, he's poking me with his penis in time with the words Boing, 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 boing. Stop right there. The Michael Rosen penis is dead. It's because I'm really fucking old. That's a shame, she's really nice. And I cried. Never mind, dear. I don't suppose you'll ask for one of those birthday again, will you? I don't want to keel over and die. It's not that long a time to wait. That wasn't very nice. It's no big deal. We'll get another one tomorrow. Happy birthday!
I try and I try and I get that in it. To work, fiddle, riddle, fiddle, 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 riddle, fiddle, fiddle, for three hours I'm at it. It's hurting. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. Terrible. I was starving. All I had for breakfast was crap. Tin, plums, and nice. Drinks. It was half past twelve and I had to get to Hamel Hempstead. So I bought a steak and I ran and ran and jumped on my toilet. As we pulled out of Euston Station, I began to eat. Nice. Trouble was, my steak was in a paper bag. One sloppy steak stuck to the bag. So I peeled on the paper. Ooh. <laughs> I think you know what I mean. The bag came off in soggy lumps of paper. <laughs> Sorry, that was really awful. <laughs> I've got big bother because I peeled on my steak, so I really began to eat. <laughs> Ooh, in the mouth, it was slippery and sticky, and it tasted like pee. Horrible. <laughs> I had never tasted anything quite so horrible in all my life. Ooh. Once my brother said, I like fingernails, all shiny, nice. Ooh. Quiet, uh, please. No need to rap. No need to eat. Ooh. No need to have a right clap. Shut your mouth when you're eating. Take a shower. Oh, you smell nice. Ooh. Oh, you've gone all quiet. Uh, fantastic. Ooh. Happy 17th first birthday, Michael Rosen. Ooh. Hi. You've tuned Hi. into the Hi. Michael Rosen channel. Michael Rosen channel. Michael Rosen channel. Here on YouTube. Michael Rosen. It's all about me. It's all about me. It's all about me. On YouTube. Poopers. Surfers. I'm Michael Rosen. I was not aware of that. It's all about me doing poems and poems from my poems. Uh, the poems and stories are mostly about when I was a kid, though some of them are about me being a chocolate cake. Spiel. 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 Look out for this butter. That way you see when I poop hot off the press. Hot off the press. Hot off. Hot off. Hot off the butter. Eww. Seres. I love you, poopers. I love you. The Sky Linogle and I'm living in Hollywood. I teach little girls to dance to trance. What are you doing now? Leave him alone. It's about that time! Why do people look like that when they watch telly? I don't know, but there we are. We all poured into the piece of paper took the bag off the tent, folded up the bag, slipped it into the piece of paper with the £20,000 written on it. We all got up and ran out the watch. Hot Fugle. Lelly, put your thumb in the air, your finger over there. You'll probably find a little paper umbrella stuck in the other hand. Stuck in the tight skin that I make my teeth cut into the flesh that I cut my hand. Oh, ow! That hurt! You may think I'm happy, you may think I'm sad, you may think I'm crazy, you may think I'm mad. That program's called... No. I'm a bit rich. Once my brother said, why don't we go on a bear hunt? Uh-oh. Eileen. Oh no, we gotta go. But hang on to your desk lids and listen right here, I'm gonna give you to the ducks. If you look to your right, you can see Michael Rosen do a wee on the end of runway four. One moment you've got a dad, and the next all you've got is a dead. Vogel. Vogel. The way to get more sandwiches is to put one of those little chocolate Swiss rolls in your pocket and market yourselves as Coca-Cola cans. Why? Jeremy Hunt wiggling your fingers. <laughs> what? I say, and here comes... <laughs> Sorry, Mum, I was just looking for the flannel. And here comes... <laughs> Get back to work. Jeremy Hunt says GPs need to market themselves for dead people who've told him that Coca-Cola can is a nice cup of tea. Jeremy Hunt's contract says he was born in a hospital. 
Well, I would like to be Jeremy Hunt's broken bones and offer him a bad leg. Careful use of a mirror can enable you to eat a socialist plot. Watch the sleep go to conquer. Ah, that was the mistake. The moment I dread when dad goes from London airport to Meshuggahna to Lloyd's Orange after Lloyd had already run out of beans. It is Michael Rosen's birthday today and his 71 have a grey birthday from tonight. I was born on the 7th of May. I remember very well that awful day I was in my mother, curled up tight, though I have to say it was as dark as night. Nothing to do, didn't want to breathe. I was so happy, didn't want to leave. Then I hear some people give a shout, one push Mr. Rosen and he'll be out. Now. Yeah, I'll come off at you lot. I'm, I'm, not, that, no, I'm not that good at it. <laughs>
Pajamani to you that is. My dad calls me the Sky Fugal. I call him Cheeky Fat Banana. Yeah. At school, we were doing a project. You know the kind of thing. The Viking, the Burger King. Thought. So I was, there we all were, sitting in our rows, behind our desks, breathing very, very quietly. And she said, no breathing. An inspector was coming in. So you weren't allowed to breathe in her lessons. <gasps> Survival. I'm Rosen Michaels. It's all about me doing bad things from my books. Though some of them are about me being a medium. <laughs> the Michael Rosen medium. You may think I'm crappy. You may think I'm sad. I, 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 I was born on the 7th, the 7th, 7th of May. I remember very well that awful day. <laughs> My snatch. Sometimes I don't shave. My snatch is all prickly. Stop right there. I'm asking you to make a really good fucking YTP for my birthday treat. Okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> hip hop, hip hop. Ha! I'm giving you all the holly course. Once my friend Hitler came to school and said something that'll burn your shoes. The only trouble was my PC had a virus. What? <laughs> I mean, I've ran out of inspiration. I think you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Friddle diddle. Once I went flying out the window. Yeah, then at Lumport. Once my brother said, why don't we go flying out the window? He hated it because I just wouldn't go to bed. Go to bed, go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. <laughs> Never mind. Sometimes my mum and dad used to go outing and I'm just dozing off. And I hear mum and dad coming on the floor of the science museum. Bendy. This meant that my brother had to babysit my mum and dad. First of all, he tries murderers and mad dog stuff. But my dad, my dad, what does he do? He stuffs my mum into his mouth right in the middle of a science museum. So now he tries, if you two don't stop it, I'm going to put you out the museum and leave you by the side of the dancing school. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The moment I dread when dad goes flying out the window. No. Sometimes my mum and dad used to go flying out the stop. I asked Harry Bow, Tony Sanders, Lizzie Gray and Hendy over and all seven of us went flying out the window. No more out the window jokes. That's when my brain starts flying out the window. I don't, I don't believe it. I really don't. Solomon the gas meter. My dad had a fat penis, very silver and bent at the middle. Quite often. We used to have mustard in your custard. <laughs> Don't steal two, five, six ice ideas. A boy said, I'm really glad my mum called me. Right in front of everyone in My friend Ash Brown. Hello. Later that day, I became the boss. <laughs> I mean, became a tomato. In other words, I have no toenails. We had a teacher who was Salmon's the Ironmongers. He wants milk in his Hollywood. Scram, shram. <laughs> Dig in. That was a bitch, but okay. <laughs> Catastrophe! Yay! Everybody, very body, everybody, 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 very body, everybody, 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 very body, everybody, 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 body, everybody, very body, everybody, everybody, very body, everybody, 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 very body, everybody, everybody, very body, everybody, everybody, very body, everybody, 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 ever
have to put cream on a baby's bum, 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 bum. My brother used to imitate my brother. If I was making my brother, my brother would walk round the house going, you know, class going, you know, class going, 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 going. I shall tell your mother and father about this, don't you worry, Sonny. You'll see. So I thought, right, I could take the poem, poem, because I do know about poets, is they're a little bit kind of furry and dark and go around at night, just like Michael Rosen. I could take the poem, bat, and wherever it says bat, I could scribble it out and write in the word moth. When I was five, I was in a band playing drums. There it is. Moth, 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 font, 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 font. bit where D.H. Lawrence puts the Italian word, the Italian lati. Probably not the Italian word for an Italian word. Teachers sometimes ask me, what's the best way to get children? And one of the ways I answer is sex. Children sometimes ask me, what's the best way to get teachers to shut up about their poetry friendly classroom? Now, when it comes to roast to roast pottery friendly classroom, my friend Harry Potter from Hogwarts and we made Wind new wind new wind new wind new wind new wind new is to create a is to create a is to create a Then we took one rose in each counting. I take one wow Fat banana She puts it in her mouth she puts it in her mouth No one no one And whenever you feel like a quick ooh or a quick ah or a quick You take it out What What's this? Excellent! Hi! How oh, hi! You've tuned in to the Michael Rosen birthday call here on YouTube and I'm Michael Rosen. It's all about me fucking sisters. What happens is Pennsylvania masturbators chop up my poems. What you see is really shit. Subscribe. S subscriber. L subscribe button. S subscribe. What happens you see is that I make new vids every few months. And then these YTP fools chop them up one a week. Call it one a week. week. I'm subscribed to Pine Rose in Pickle on YouTube. Class sex. Nice. Rockle Mosen. Dude, I finish this vid. Uh, presents. I want a wee. <laughs> I'm running out of comedic ideas. I've made a breakthrough. <laughs> Seventy-one, or I'm so old I just dust. Ha 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 you may think I'm gonna hang myself. You may think I'm crazy. Oh, you may think I'm fantastic. But hang on to your sexy ass and listen right here. This rap is about to get explicit. So here goes. But what you believe it, the little pig? A hip hop, a hip hop. Ha! I'm giving you all the Michael Rosen rap, 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 rap. When I was one, I swam the English Channel. When I was two, I. When I was 31, I got out her piece. When I was 71, I started getting dementia. Hello! So that's what I am, that's what I am, with a C, with a U, with a N, with a T. That's what I am, that's what I be, Mr. Mike, Mr. Michael, Mr. Rosen, Mr. Me, Mr. A hip hop, a hip hop hat. I'm giving you all the Michael Rosen rats! And then nibbling my cock ring. Nice. Strict. We had a teacher who was so strict, you weren't allowed to wrestle in her lessons. She used to stand out the front going, no, suplexing. So then I thought, screw this, and I ran and ran far, far away to Holland and back. Cool. When I got there, there was this boy called Pickin Head. So I said, hello. And he said, do you want milk in your tea? <laughs> I mean, I'm the man. If station of your inner self loathing. Okay, I said, okay. Yeah, okay. And off I went to bed to play room. Escape. 
Yeah, do you know, when I was a little girl, I used to play RuneScape because I had this really bad autism. Mm. But really... Happy birthday, Mick. Happy birthday to you. Oh no, not one of those, not another one of those little birthday treats. Surely not. Duck. <laughs> I mean, fuck. Where broccoli comes from. Not many people know that broccoli grows in the arsets a very big green men who live in Camel Hempstead. And brave cock cutters go deep into the very big green men and they creep up on the very big green men. What? They wait for the very big green men to fall asleep. And the cock cutters get it on and they shit in the faces of the very big green men. Not many people know that. Just thought I'd let you know. Dad's in bed. Dad's in bed! Me and my brother, we sit up in bed doing my dad. Jump on dad! Roll him flat! Jump, jump, jump! Grab his dick and give it a squeeze. We're the monkey monkeys from Monkey Monkey Alley. Hey, hey! We're the monkeys. Dad's in bed. Grab his balls. Give them a tug, sit on his head. He hasn't moved. He's lying there, still as a stone. Nothing makes him move. Oh, oh no. no, he's dead. What am I gonna do? I know, I'll splodge him, splodge him with my jelly. Wonderful. Once a boy called Hina Schmaltz came to school and said, I can hypnotize people. So he said, yeah, yeah, I bet you can't. So he said, OK. And then he started crying. Anyway, playtime. We all went on to the playground. And then he started crying again. So everyone said, shh. After that, we used to go around telling people, you see that bloke over there? Him, he a schmaltz. He's a baby. It was then Harry Bo died. Hmm. Why? Fair enough, I'll tell you. It's because I killed him. Why? I don't know. The Michael Rosen crap rap. You may think I'm Michael, you may think I'm Rosen, you may think I'm Michael, you may think I'm Boobley, but hang on to your balls and listen right here. I'm gonna tell you something that'll burn your little paper umbrella. Hop, a hip hop hat. I'm giving you all a very crap. Rap, 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 rap. I was born on the 9,000th of May. I remember very well that awful mother. I was in prison, curled up tight, though I have to say it was as bright as night. Nothing to do, didn't want to breathe. <gasps> I was so happy, didn't want to be leave. It's not butter. Then I hear some people give a rat's ass. One push, Mrs. Rosen, and he'll be out of your snatch. I'm telling you, that was a puzzle to me. I shouted out, you know, my mother, so he, doctor, shouted, good Lord. What the fuck? I popped out my head, said, now watch me wank. I juked and jived around that bitch. Balam, bam, boola, balam, da diddy box. A hip hop, a hip hop hat. I'm giving you all a very crap. Rap, 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 rap. When I was one, I died. <laughs> Anyway, when I was two, I ate out. My teacher, Miss Goodall, when I was three, I started getting money. When I was four, I ate the dog's dinner. When I was five, I was in a band playing bums. When I was six, I ate a jar of marmalade. When I was seven, I robbed a prime minister. When I was eight, I became my sister. When I was nine, I closed all the YouTube pulled up channels. When I was 10, they made me the little pig. So that's what I am. That's what I be with a happy with a birthday with a Michael with a Rosen. That's what I am. That's what I be. Mr. Boring, Mr. Stupid, Mr. Gay, Mr. Nice. A hip hop, a hip hop hat. I'm giving you all the best ever. <laughs> Happy
happy birthday, Michael Rosen. I want to tell you that I think your poems are fantastic. You're a wonderful inspiration to hundreds and hundreds of children all over the world. And I hope you have a good birthday and many more to come. Stop right there. Blimey. It's the YouTube Poop Inspector. Where do you think you're trying to go? Actually, um, that was the end of my poop. Ha! You'd call that a whitey pee. There are no plums. No sus. No repetitions. No sex jokes. Just you talking on your own. There's enough of those things already. I'm just trying to do something rather nice for a change. I don't care. Anyone who does a poop properly, it'll be out. Whitey P. Prison. Look, look, this isn't fair. If you don't stop this crap, I'm going to leave you by the side of the desert and give you to shine. Who do, do, do you understand? Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Um, I... Uh, Look out the window. There's a terrible can tree. And I dashed out faster than an electron. <laughs>
were sitting at my dad, and my dad wants milk in his tit. Oh, uh, uh. Chocolate, chocolate. When I was a boy, I was a boy. I love It was when my mum made my little box, and it would be playtime or lunchtime, and I'd. Hello! Um... Hello! I'm happy. Birthday, Michael. Hmm. Thank you, Dad. I can't believe it's my birthday once again. Wonderful. Oh, how old are you? Anyway. Um... 71? What? I don't believe it. My son is becoming a old man. Hmm. Oh, uh, what do you want for your birthday? Um, I, uh, I want a birthday plan. Hmm, you can thank my eyes for that. Nice. What else? Um, um, a Y T P made by Mad Uh. Why him? Because he is the fiercest pizza in the world. What? <laughs> I mean, the best poop uh, in the world. Okay. Oh, uh, that's the best. Hello. Come in, please. Hooray! Done. Two. Ah, oh, here goes. By the way, where is my YTP about that? What is it? You are in one. Right? My birthday is to late. I was born on the 7th of May. I remember very well that awful day. I was in my mother, curled up tight, though I have to say it was as dark as night. So I think you know what I mean. Another Michael Rosen birthday column. Hmm. The column would be grey. Really great. So we got the tickets and we got onto the bus and as we were getting on I said, Brian! You can't do a wee on the end of runway four. And the bloke driving the bus goes, if you look out of your window, you can see. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Telly, put your finger in the air, your thumb over there. Look for your other hand. You'll probably find it on the other finger. Put that thumb on the end of your thumb. Put that thumb on the end of your finger. You got a telly now. What program shall I put on the telly? I know. Israel must be wiped off the face of the earth. Kaboom. Going on a bear hunt, going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Going on a bear hunt, going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Perfect, perfect. Over it, we can't go under it. My dad woke me up. Wake up, wake up, Michael Rosen. It's your 71st birthday. You have presents downstairs. So I got up. I went to have a look at the presents. But, and this is a big but, there were no presents. And my dad kicked me in the nuts.
I don't think it's funny. Take that back. <laughs> and so my dad says, I'm going to give you tea deep. And so my dad bade me lie down on the ground. Too bad. I've got a tea deep. I want to weigh. Number one. Oh no! Always knew you were a bit gay. But when I stand up, I notice there were dollops of cum hiding in the corner of the my ass. And then we start fiddle diddling, fiddle diddle, fiddle diddle. <coughs> Wonderful. Mum says, Happy fucking birthday to you, sad ex used of a man. I'm giving you the Michael Rosen sex doll. <laughs> you fag. Slam. I'm going to send you back to school. Ha! 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 Get out the car. I hate gay people. Fuck. Time to get a gun. Das ist die Rolle von Hermann Göring, äh, zu der ich heute den ersten Drehtag habe. Heute bin ich nur angekommen, sage bin ich zu spät. Äh, der, der schleicht er dann gleich wieder ab kommt also nur ganz kurz her, um zu sagen, dass er eigentlich in Süddeutschland dringend gebraucht wird. Miss Goodall has a fat banana. Und äh, die eigentliche Szene oder was, was, was Hitler gegenüber auf der Lage dann passiert, äh, das werden wir eigentlich erst in München erfahren oder ich in den nächsten Szenen, die ich... Mm. Um einfach aus Berlin wieder rauszukommen. <lacht> When I was 10, a terrifying boy called Abdul came to school and said, Allah Akbar! Allah Akbar! Allah Akbar! At any second, he could blow up. Ah! It all exploded. Blam! There was an awful yelling and crying. Suddenly, Harry Bow came running. All his clothes were torn. There was blood on his face and he screamed, Quick! Get out! Get out of here! Abdul has escaped. We all got up and ran out the door and got away as fast as we could. You'd be stepping over kids just to get out the room. I had never seen anything quite so horrible in all my life. All I had left was one toenail and to burn thumb. Do you know, at the beginning of the day, there were five kids in my class. At the end of the day, there were only 48 of them left. I didn't survive. I just fell over and died of my burn. <laughs> I was just on a bath salts trip. <laughs> Time to go. Chocolate cake, is it? Oh, no, it isn't. Okay, let's start. We sit down to eat, and we're sitting at the table. Tidy your room. Oh, no! Once, a boy called Richard came to school and said, Let's look at the script. Hey, come back. You won't get very far. Catch that cake. Hooray! 
Okay, now drop the beat. Everybody here, are you ready for some fun? Cause we're hipping and hopping, not dancing like your mum. Are you ready for some more? Well, hit that floor and follow my foodie moves and you'll be number one. Now ha. don't give me my cake, big bird. Guess what? No. <laughs> I'm going to get oh. you. <laughs> Look, right, that's it. You're dead. <laughs> something to tell ya, so listen up peeps and hit that floor. Oh, everybody, gather round, I've got a new dance, a brand new sound. I'm, I'm going to slap a tomato. I've got, got to do it. I'm going to tell the cops. Brilliant! A car. Ah. Blimey. A bird driving a car. He won't get very far. <laughs> what do you want? I want you to catch that bird driving a shining car. No. Stop your tricks. I don't. I don't believe it. I really don't. I think you know what I've got to do now. I'm going all over the place. <laughs> I'm going to peel his face out. Oh dear. No car. I couldn't try. Oh dear! Never mind. Give it me my cake, you fool. Fine. <coughs> this isn't chocolate. This is <coughs> poo. My mouth is full of poo. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> well. goes on for ages. Ha! Slowing down, are you? Oh no! Lollipop lady, will you get out of the way? I've got to catch a bird. I don't believe it, I really don't. You're right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh no, this is Mind cake chase happy birthday Mick Where have all the plums gone? <laughs> Hang on to your seats and listen right here. I'm gonna tell you what happened last time. Stop. Why? Look at the time. Oh. So what? Ah! What was that for? Read the fucking paper. That piece of paper? What is it? Okay. Oh god damn it. Right. Let's try this again. Yeah. <laughs>
<clears throat> it looks like it won't be necessary for me to tell you what happened last time. So watch this vid when you get a chance. Anyway, hang on to your seats and listen right here. I'm gonna tell you something that happened to me when I was 12. There I was walking to my first class of the day when I noticed a new voice. So then I went to my friend Harry Bow and I said, Hey Harry Bow, who is that guy? Hmm. That bloke over there. Him, Richard. Yeah, he's brilliant. He can hypnotize people. He's a hypnotizer, you know. Yeah, yeah, I bet he can't. No, really. He told me. <laughs> Hmm. Right, class six. Right, class six. I'm talking. I'm talking. I want complete quiet. Complete quiet. And that includes you, David Alexander. Yes, you. No need to turn around, David. There aren't any other David Alexanders here, are there? Louise, it isn't absolutely necessary for your watch to play us London's Burning just now, is it? Uh, sorry. Right. As you know, today we had a new student. Do you want to come up here to introduce yourself? My name is Richard, and I can hypnotise people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I bet you can't. I can't get a moment's peace right here. I'm quite quiet! Now, I want you to be really good to Richard and treat him like you would any other student in class X. Yeah. yeah. Right, okay then, Richard, you can sit down now. At lunchtime. Time for lunch, munch, munch. Time for a munch, crunch, crunch, munch, munch. Shut up, crunch, stinks. Crunch. I am angry, really angry. Angry, angry, angry. I'm so angry, I'll jump up. Why don't we sit out by Richard? Yeah, okay. Mm. This love Richard. He's brilliant. He can hypnotize people, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'll come off at you lot. I'm, I'm not that you no, know, I'm not that good at it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't believe it. I really don't. Yeah, I really don't. Let me see you hypnotise someone. Okay, playtime. Right, so playtime. Right, who wants to go? There was silence. No one dared to be hypnotised. Then I said, you see that bloke over there? Him, Trevor, the one under the tree. Yeah, let's hypnotise him, shall we? There's another reason. We try to talk to him. Hey, Trevor. Trevor. Come on, Trevor. Trevor, wake the fuck up. I'm very sorry, Trevor, but nobody, nobody at all wants to hear about your Michael Rosen rap. Your remixes or your Michael Rosen rap. Remixes. Anyway, do you want to see magic? Yeah, it'll be great. Right. I'm gonna hypnotize you now. Richard bade Trevor lie down on the ground on his back and he took this gold ring out of his pocket and he put it very carefully between Trevor's eyes on the bridge of his nose. Then Richard took this conker out of his pocket. Was he on the end of a string? And he starts swinging the conker to and fro in front of Trevor's eyes. And he starts up talking in this spooky voice. Watch the conker. Watch the conker. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Watch the conker. Watch the conker. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Watch the conker. Watch the conker. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Watch the conquer, watch the conquer, go to sleep, 
Um, is he okay? He's hypnotized. Blimey. Nostrils, 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 nostrils. Um, we should probably take him to the nurse. No, no. Let's wait a bit. Goldfish is. Ha! Were you asleep? Hey, were you, you hypnotized? Only thing that happened was I got a rotten headache. After that, we used to go around pressing Richard and teasing Trevor. You see that bloke over there? Him, Richard. He's brilliant. He can hypnotise people. He's a hypnotizer, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'll come off it, you lot. I'm, I'm not that. No, I'm not that good at it. <laughs> and see that bloke over there? Him, Trevor. He was hypnotized by Richard. Were you? 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 So that was that. Oh, uh, Mr. Rosen, I've been meaning to tell you something. What is it? Happy birthday. You're right. Quite right. I'm 71. Two to the one, from the one to the three. I like good pussy and I like good trees. Smoke so much weed you wouldn't believe. And I get more ass than a toilet seat. Die. Oh no. Diabetes. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs>